Hello and welcome to our wine videos. I'm focusing on the wine countries of Central and Eastern Europe and today the focus is on Hungary, a very very important and interesting wine country of Eastern Europe with a history that goes back at least 2,000 years to the ancient Roman times when it was called Pannonia and grape growing has been present ever since. Uh, there are records going back to the 5th century and um, eventually grapes were brought here from Italy and France and the important, most famous region of Hungary called Tokai uh, was established in terms of grape growing, wine appellations and uh, the importance of the wine being sent to important regions of Europe and uh, it has become ever since the 16th century the calling card of Hungary that's Tokai. More about that later. Uh, there of course were other important regions Eger and Sexard, Lake Balaton all throughout the centuries and uh, eventually the phylloxera hit like it hit all of Europe, it came to Hungary in 1882. Many vineyards were decimated and of course uh, they had to be revitalized uh, with the American rootstocks and eventually the vineyards were getting back into health when World War I came along. Austria-Hungary was broken apart, the Austro-Hungarian Empire after the war. And then came World War II and communism, where mass production was the name of the game. Okay, Planck or mass produced wine was the norm, as it was all throughout the uh, communist Eastern Europe countries. But then, uh, when the Iron Curtain collapsed in 1989, when Hungary became a free economy, if you will, uh, then a lot of international investment came into the country and uh, quality became the focus and has since then, since 1990, uh, taken over. And Hungary has become a very important uh, European country in terms of individual wines, quality wines, and it's still uh, working hard to establish its mark in the international arena. And uh, I'd say it's doing a very good job. I'm going to be telling you a lot more about it. Today, we have a country with approximately 60,000 hectares of vineyards, okay? About 2% of the vineyards in the entire European Union. Uh, it produces about 2.5 million hectoliters of wine annually. That's roughly two and a half million hectoliters. Now that's very similar to Austria, its neighbor. Uh, which also produces about that much, around an average of two to two and a half million hectoliters of wine per year. And um, in Hungary, like Austria, a lot of the wine is imbibed and drunk at home. Okay, uh, so about 25% of Hungary's wines is exported, 75% is uh, drunken at home. In Hungary, 65% of the wine produced is white and 35% of the wines produced are red. That's also very similar to the statistics in Austria, in neighboring Austria. Okay, The Hungarians love their own wines, no question. Uh, in general, now there are 22 wine regions in Hungary and of course uh, we cannot talk about all of them, but I will be mentioning the most important ones to you. Uh, within the, these 22 wine regions within the country, uh, they are within seven main areas. Okay, we have the area around Lake Balaton, okay, which is a large steppe lake. And in the northern side, you have uh, volcanic ancient uh, extinct volcanoes, which makes for fantastic terroir. So uh, some areas like uh, Barachon, absolutely fantastic. And you have the 
Panin area in the southwestern area of the country. That uh, includes the regions of Bilan and Sexhard. And then in north Transdanubia, you have uh, Etiek and Mur, Panan Halma. And uh, then we go further up to the northeast, where you have Eger uh, and Matra. And then, of course, there's Tokai in the northeast. And uh, also over to the west, we have Chopron, okay, which is on the border of Austria. I'll give you more details, but that's just a brief summary. And uh, here, if you look at the map, you can see that the, each of the 22 regions are listed. And you can see in which part of the country uh, the regions are located. Most of, the, most of the quality wine is produced, in fact, where most of the wine regions are, are in uh, the western part of the country, from north to south, and also going in the center north of the country to the northeast, okay, which you have Tokai in the very northeast of the country. Mm -hmm.